On today's Apple Daily, Apple's Blast Door protects your phone from malicious messages. Facebook prepares antitrust suit against Apple. My vintage Mac collection. iCave answers. Glowing Apple logos on MacBooks. Integrated versus discrete graphics in Apple Silicon. And when will iOS 14.5 get here? Plus, Notification Squad Mini. For the latest Apple news, rumors, and leaks, every weekday at 12 UTC, join us in the iCave. I'm Mike Cave Dave, and if you want all the stuff that Siri just said, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you can join the notification squad, and get a shout out at the end of the video, like the guy at the end of this one does. Surely, guys, this is disappointing. I need more than one person in the notification squad. Hit me up. Also, today, we are going live straight after. In fact, the room's already live now, but we are going to have a chat after this on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is cool, it's an audio only thing, it's on the iPhone. If you've not signed up, sorry you probably won't get in, but sign up so that you can get into the queue. It's in beta right now and it's basically an audio chat thing. There is a link down in the um, in the description where you can click on and we'll be chatting as soon as this video finishes. So uh, come and see us if you're already in there. I need followers. Blast door protects your iPhone from malicious messages. We've all seen reports that a wallpaper can brick your phone in the past or a text message that contains code that can send your phone into a continuous boot loop. Well, it turns out that Apple wasn't keen on at least the latter of those. And with iOS 14, it created a system called Blast Door, which keeps any data arriving in a message separated from the phone's OS until it's been verified as safe or diffused. It's an extension of sandboxing, but I think in the past messages had been a system level process which possibly left iPhones more vulnerable than Apple was comfortable with. So they quietly implemented this behind the scenes. It's completely invisible to the end users just as Apple likes it. Facebook prepares antitrust suit against Apple. In what seems to be the sequel to Apple versus Fortnite, Facebook is now preparing a lawsuit against Apple because they don't like playing by Apple's App Store policies either. Now this particular suit is because they don't believe Apple's own apps are having to abide by the same privacy and other rules as third party apps, even though Apple has already published all of the privacy data on their website for all of their apps. So yeah, they do. You know, details, Mark. But it sounds like even Facebook's own employees are not happy with the battle with Apple and themselves seem to be uncomfortable with some of the company's practices around privacy. So it remains to be seen if this action comes to pass or if it's more of a grandstanding thing on the side of Mr. Zucks. My vintage Mac collection. So having moved my setup over here around a little bit, a lot of people have noticed the Power Mac G4 Cube, which I have featured in previous videos, so I don't know if you just weren't paying attention. Uh, and so they've asked if I'm into old Macs, and yes, yes I am. So off the top of my head, as quickly and close to chronological release order as I can do, here's what I currently own. An Apple Newton Emate 300, a G3 Indigo iMac, a Power Mac G3, a G3 iBook clamshell, as well as a second for spares, two Emacs, one G4 iMac Sunflower, a Power Mac G4 Quicksilver, a Power Mac G4 Cube, that one two polycarbonate studio ADC displays, an Apple Cinema Display 22 inch, which is the polycarbonate one, a Power Mac G5 single 1.8 gigahertz model, a 20 inch cinema display, a black MacBook 2007 up there, a Core 2 Duo Mac Mini from 2009, an iPod Nano from 2010, an iPhone 4, a MacBook Air 2011 11 inch, an iPhone 4S, an iPhone 5, two first generation iPad minis, which the kids use, an iPad with Retina display, which the kids also use, iMac 27 inch 2013, an iPhone 6, an iPhone 7 Plus, which uh, my nephew now has, an iPhone 8, which I have for work and also my wife has one, Apple Watch Series 2, then an Apple Watch Series 0 stainless, both of those are gone now, iPhone 10s in gold, which I sold, iPad 5th gen, which I've also moved on now, I have the Apple Watch SE, I have the new iPad Air, iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is what you are watching on right now, MacBook Air M1, which is my wife's main computer, and my Mac Mini M1, which is over there. So that's kind of pretty much, I think, most of the stuff that I have. Now, you may be wondering why I'm going through all of this, but basically uh, people are asking me to do some videos around some of the older stuff. So if there's something in there that caught your attention that you would really like to know more about, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and let's go IK Vintage as our hashtag for that. Um, and I will try and make some videos around that stuff, see what you want to do with it. Most of it pretty much works, so um, fingers crossed we can do some cool stuff.
So into our cave answers, this one comes in from Vinay Spidey, who was asked a few just recently, which is pretty cool. Uh, will the glowing Apple logo be back in upcoming MacBooks? There are actually rumors that this could happen. Uh, a few years ago, they took that away and they made it more shiny, like the back of an iPad. It's possible that with the redesign, uh, that might come back. I feel like this is another Johnny Ive decision where they decided that that's a bit vulgar, let's get rid of that, but people love them. I would be quite happy to have a glowy logo on the back of my MacBook. Uh, and I'd probably throw on the old rainbow logo on the top of it. What do you think? I think that would be cool to light up on the back. But yes, uh, with the mini LED displays, it's quite possible that with the redesign, they may well be putting this back in and there have been rumors to that effect. So fingers crossed, I think it would be a really cool thing to come back. Rico the MLG Pro asks, uh, do you think that M1X or M2 will just have better integrated graphics or have a dedicated GPU? Interesting one, uh, again. I think the M1X will have dedicated. I think the M2 will have integrated because I think the M number nothing ones will be along the lines of what the M1s are right now. So they will have better integrated graphics than we have right now. I think then when we get up to the M1X, the Xs will have dedicated graphics and any other kind of addendums that they put on. I think the M1 basic will be the only one that comes with just integrated. And then if you've got a letter after it, you're probably gonna get dedicated. However, one question that I have is, does it actually make a difference? Um, I understand that it's more about having its own memory pool, but the reason that the M1s have done so well is because they've got that uh, unified memory pool that everything uses, so it doesn't have to move stuff around as far. So that's part of the reason they're as quick and snappy as they are. So if Apple was able to just put a more powerful GPU built into the same SoC with more memory available, it feels like that would be just as good as having a dedicated one. I think the only thing that would be difficult is managing the amount of heat if you're getting into a lot more power. But remember, these are so cool right now that that's really not a big issue. So thank you very much for the question. And James Apple asks, when will they release iOS 14.5? Because I want to stick it to Facebook. And James has also joined our uh, notification squad today. So thank you very much, James. Um, in terms of iOS 14.5, it's been pegged as coming out in early spring, so I would guess possibly March, uh, beginning of March. And I feel like this might be something that they uh, release fully with an event. We're expecting an event anyway for the IMAX uh, and the redesigned IMAX to come out. So fingers crossed, it might be coming at the same time as those. And I can quite easily see Apple doing a big chunk on privacy at the beginning of the event and then going, and here's some really cool hardware. Um, so that seems uh, legit to me. In terms of betas, I think we'll probably see the first beta for it next week and uh, we'll actually have more of a clue of what's going to be going on with it. So uh, I will keep you up to date. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget we are chatting right now in Clubhouse if you're watching the premiere of this. If you're not, come over to Clubhouse anyway and come and find me. But the room is live as we speak if you're watching this at the 12 noon premiere. So come and chat. I would love to answer your questions in person over on Clubhouse. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.